Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to part two of our uh, Tag Mixer series for our internet marketing plugin we're building. Uh, it's kind of a new plugin. Like I said, this isn't really a follow, it is a follow along kind of, but I'm actually building this thing real time. I don't actually have it pre-built or anything. You're actually watching me develop it real time. Uh, and in this video, in the last video, we went ahead and went over our mind map. This is uh, how I map out information. This is called a mind map. And uh, I kind of showed what we're doing. We're gonna, in this little series, we're gonna be going all the way to submitting this to wordpress.org all the way from the start. And we're gonna use the WordPress plugin boilerplate. Uh, I've been doing this in previous videos. If you've watched any of my other videos, I, I really like to use this. It's open source and uh, it's really good. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, just with this video, is gonna be real short. We're just gonna be um, starting by building the base of the plugin. I'll put it into a GitHub as well. And in order to do that, um, we're gonna use a program that I personally built. I've been a actually Windows desktop programmer for a long time. And I built this and I have another tutorial or another uh, video kind of showcasing it. And uh, it's got, it's. I will be honest with you, I built it by myself and I built it pretty quickly and I just wanted to release it for people. So there's gonna be some bugs in it. And I, and I wrote a whole, um, um, it's on a, I wrote a whole documentation for it. It's on a website, um, wp10pluginstudio.com. You can go and download it for free. I don't charge anything for it. It's like, I'm just giving it away. And uh, anyway, and I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do a major update to it. I would say within the next couple months, fix a whole bunch of the bugs I left in it. Cause I really built it for myself initially. But anyway, let's just get right into it. Uh, and you'll see what, what this thing can do and how it's gonna relate to this course. So we're gonna name this the, the uh, tag mixer. Uh, we're gonna just use my website. WordPress and tenorless.com. Plugin slug. This is going to be the tag mixer. The plugin slug. Author name WP in 10 or less. And my name is Josh. Let's just put that in. And then the email is contact at. Now you guys can kind of see where this is going. This is actually going to build it for us. The tag mixer is a plugin that allows you to change HTML elements real time based on query strings. It's extremely valuable. Uh, okay, we're gonna use an admin menu. The answer is yes, we are. So we're gonna call this the tag mixer is the page title. The menu link is gonna say tag mixer settings. Menu slug is gonna be the tag mixer settings. And then the callback page is gonna be the tag mix gen set page. That's a callback page it shows in our administrative. Let's just give this like a laptop or something. These are all of the dash icons you can call into WordPress. I'll just go for like laptop. And manage options means an administrator can access this. And let's set this to the very bottom of our item by giving it 5,000 in the menu priority. Submenu, we are gonna have one submenu item as you guys know and that's the mixer. If we look back at the mind map, I create two administrative pages and then what each of those pages does. So we have a mixer settings page too. So we need to call this the tag our tag mixer packages and then the link title is going to be the same thing the slug is uh, tag mixer package uh, packages and then tag mixer packages page for the callback dash icons it actually doesn't work for the submenu but I put it in anyway and then an, an admin and then menu priority is zero because it's a submenu item under the first so now we have two menu items we're not going to set up any acts, or actions or hooks or filters in this at the moment. Um, I could do it right here, but I'm not going to at the moment. Short codes, we don't have any. We could easily just check this and then do short codes. Uh, this is a snippets part where actually you can uh, enter code that gets written automatically for you from preloaded code that you've written before. So we're just going to reload our snippets resources, load our hooks. That's going to pull in our menu items. And in order for these to get written, we need to just give them something. So let's check out this hello world text. We can preview it. And I'm actually going to take away the echoes because we don't need that in this particular code. We're going to overwrite that file. Okay, so here's what our um, text file hello world is actually going to write this code, this hello world here. We could actually give it like H1 or something. It's actually going to write that into the um, tag mixer settings page. So let's just save that. Now we're going to do the same thing on the tag mixer. Uh, packages page we're gonna save that snippet there so they each have kind of some starting code it uh, has to do that in order to write it we don't need any uh, JS or CSS so let's go ahead and deploy should pop in right here okay here it is and that was it we could add any custom JS and CSS by the way uh, into our um, plugin as well the uh, either publicly or administrative facing we can do a lot with this with this little program I would just kind of breeze through it just to get it going 
And uh, there we go. So now we have a WordPress plugin boilerplate. Now, if you, uh, I am going to put this in a GitHub so you guys can download it from there and follow along. But um, you can also download that program, like I said, for free and do exactly what I just did. So we're in the WP10 content for SEO local. This is, um, I've been using this to like make my YouTube video series. So it's just going to pop in right here for us once we uh, go ahead and add this into our plugins. So I, I'm in the uh, HT Docs of my XAMP in the plugins folder of that site. And now we're just going to drag this into the folder and we're just going to copy it. And if we go back to our site and we refresh our plugins page, we should see Tag Mixer in here. There it is, containing all the data that we just imported in that program. And if we activate it, we should see menu items. Okay, and the plugin now activated successfully. As you can see, it's activated. And we do now have a side menu here, Tag Mixer Settings. We now have a settings page, which will call its callback. And then we have a package, packages page, which is calling its callback. Now we can actually open this in Visual Studio um, code which we're going to do for this series. We go into our C drive. Uh, we're in our C drive, XAMP, and then htdocs, the website we're in, content, plugins, and we're going to select Tag Mixer and open the folder. And this is going to look like a normal WordPress plugin boilerplate files because it is. It was created by my program, but it looks exactly like what you'd expect normally. And so let's go ahead and jump straight into those administrative partials. See, these are the partials that were created by the program, like the uh, mixed gen uh, packages page. This is the package. This is the page that has the packages. And I'll just show you that this is in fact working real time. Let's give it an H1. And let's say um, this is the packages page. So you can see that the package settings page is actually doing what it's supposed to be. So let's go to the packages page. This will say something totally different. There you go. And so then we have our settings page and now we can start editing and creating all of our settings, our um, fields, our options, our turning on and off, everything uh, right in here. And then we can uh, actually get into the, uh, if you followed any of my other tutorials, this will be very familiar to you, this uh, file and folder layout. In the plugin name file, we'll be able to scroll right on down here and we have our admin hooks. And as you can see, my plugin or, or my program already added the uh, menu items for us. It did that because we did it in the plugin. And then we'll be able to define our footer calls and all that right here. And so this thing has all been named properly and set up for us to get going. Uh, in the next video, like I said, we will actually have this available in a GitHub. So you guys can just download it and stare it along with me. Okay, so now that we have these established, uh, we're gonna keep this video real short. And now that we have that established, um, as you can see, what we're gonna do in our next video is we're gonna actually set up our basic settings page. We're going to create a form that allows us, it's a big button that allows us to turn on and off the mixer, whether we're using it or not. And then we're gonna create a key source uh, for validation. This is a really good idea for a feature. So say that you're sending the traffic from a particular source, like say you have two sources of traffic, one that will let you um, edit pages based on the incoming query and ones that won't. Uh, or say you wanna only do it with one key and you don't you can send two queries to your page that would look kind of something like this. You could say, like say that your website, um, you were like, say you were, let's go like this and say that you were going to send a keyword to your page that you wanted it to be. Um, let's say like key was Geico and you wanted to have an, uh, a, that or not that was your keyword sorry and that was geico and then you have like a general key that's what we're going to call it like a gen key and it's like some random assigned by the software okay the page is only going to change if both of these things are equal to each other if the key is equal to the key and geico is equal to it then it will change the page's elements if the key is missing it won't do it Okay, so that allows us to turn it on and off based on traffic sources to generate different sources and all that. That's going to work out really, really good for us. And then information about the plugin and my YouTube channel. That's going to be our general settings. And then on our mixer settings, like I said, we're actually going to create a, a box that has a, a drop down that shows all of our current packages. Like you could create a Geico package, a Home Depot package, whatever. And then in that, it will show you all the changes you've saved. Like I want all my images that's top imaged with this ID to be changed to this. I want my background colors to look to be orange, blah, 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 blah. You see what I'm saying? That's what this plugin is going to let you do and create unlimited packages. It's like I said, really, really good for advertising. So in this video, all we did was quickly uh, just go ahead and create a plugin uh, using 
um, my program I created. This, like I said, you can download this. It, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, you do have to make sure, though, that when you create this and you create administrative pages, that you do drop this down and add some kind of code to it. There's documentation on that website and how to use this. If not, just go download a, a blank boil, uh, WordPress boilerplate plugin. It has all these same files and then just you know rename things yourself. Um, but like I said, I will release a link to the GitHub too so you can just download this and throw it right in your site. Anyway, I think I'm gonna wrap it up right here. I just wanted to make the plugin, get it in the site so we could start working on it. And like I said, in the next video, we're actually gonna start um, changing the administrative page the settings page and we're going to start adding in our forms and kind of making this look good so that the user can start actually saving and turning it on and off and then this is actually not going to be a super hard plugin to build i suspect there'll be maybe 20 videos or so so hey anyway if you guys are uh, liking the content subscribe will you and uh i look forward to seeing you guys in the next part where we actually get kicked off on this thing because i'm really excited to build it and um, share it with everybody so i see you guys in the next one